Hey, hey, hey. Hey, boss. Hey, boss. Hey, boss. Hey. How are you today? <laughs> it's uh, your girl, LaShonda Henry here, aka Sister Sense. Always excited to share things you can do to work on your money, marketing, and sales goals too with strategy and intention. I am jumping on here with you for another late night live session. Create an ebook with me intentionally. That's what we're going to do today. Okay. So if you want to work on your first or your next awesome digital product and you are looking to get better at creating digital offers, hang tight, you're in for a treat. So I'm actually going to be sharing my screen and I've got a template to share with you too. Those of you who are watching me on Facebook and uh, YouTube, uh, we're going to talk about the template and we're going to work on an ebook project today. Okay. Uh, if you are listening on Instagram, mwah, thank you so much. I'll tell you exactly where to go to get the resources you need for this particular project today. <laughs> uh, and she's trying to distract me. Um, I'm going to tell you exactly where to go to get the resources you need for today's Create an ebook project with yours truly. Yay, yay, yay. Excited about our session today. This is actually part two. Yesterday, I hosted a session on how to create an audio book with me. And you guys were so awesome. I said, let's come back and do it again. So I'm going to jump right into our session, okay? Uh, follow me. Hey, LaVon. Awesome to see you here, my dear. Who is hanging out with me on the Instagram side? Hello. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So, all right, let's do this. Um, the template that we're going to use is as part of the Fresh Start Project over at scissorsense.com forward slash FSP for Fresh Start Project, right? Scissorsense, that's me, S-I-S-T-A-S-E-N-S-E dot -E com. So hopefully you caught yesterday's session where we worked on audiobooks. Today we're going to work on an ebook. Hi, Tezra. Tara, excuse me. <laughs> I thought it was Tesra. We're going to work on ebooks today, and your templates are a part of the Fresh Start Project at scissorsense.com forward slash FSP. Okay. So when you get to this particular website, you're going to see a blue button that says Fresh Start Project. Hey, Faye is in the virtual building. Click on the button that says Fresh Start Project. Now, here's what I'm going to tell you this is an opportunity to get a couple of uh, resources and templates from me for free. Opportunities expire. So um, you have, I want to say, a day or two, if that, to come in here, catch the replays, download the templates, and then that's going to be wrapped up tight for those of you in my Fresh Start 90-day program, okay? Um, if you're in Fresh Start, awesome. If not, I woke up to see a ton of ladies checking in with me, joining Fresh Start this morning. So I was like, okay, clearly me falling asleep and not closing it was for a reason. So <laughs> the live last night uh, ended close to one o'clock in the morning. And then I, I ate because I just needed to eat. Um, and uh, the day has continued. So if you want to join us inside the Fresh Start 90 Day Program, I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a bit. But the enrollment is still open just for a little bit longer because we had so much fun creating audiobooks yesterday. I said, let's do another project today. OK, so when you go to the scissorsense.com forward slash FSP page, you're going to click the button that says Fresh Start Project number one. And then that's going to take you to this page where you can watch the replays for a limited time. There are going to be two replays here, one for the audiobook project and one for the ebook project we're doing today. Then you're going to click the ebook project template. Okay. You click that project, at, <laughs> that project, you click that template, and that's going to allow you to access that template for free from yours truly and open it up in Canva. Okay. I'm going to assume that you have a Canva account. I don't, I, it's very rare that I meet an entrepreneur that does not have a Canva account. Okay. <laughs> so, um, that is essentially the three-step process. You're going to go to sysassess.com forward slash FSP, step one. Step two, you're going to make sure that you click the Fresh Start Project link to see the audiobook training we did yesterday or the ebook training we're going to do today. You're going to grab your free ebook training template. I'm sorry, your e free ebook template. And you can also get the audiobook templates too. 
provided you go to these pages ASAP, okay? Because uh, within 24 hours, I'm wrapping them up and I'm closing them tight. You'll get access to these, of course, if you're in the Fresh Start 90 Day program so that we can intentionally work on your digital products and revenue goals together over the course of 90 days. And that is at sense.com forward slash fresh start. All right. So before we even dig into this template, I want to give you some ideas of how you can create an awesome ebook relatively easy. So I'm going to give you the easy ebook challenge created by me, and then we're actually going to edit the template. Okay. I missed today's workshop. Oh, no worries. Number one, I'm literally, as we speak, downloading the I'm downloading the replays bay for today's workshop from tonight. Um, and I'm going to make sure that that is up within the next couple of hours. Okay. So y'all bear with me because for my girl, Faye, for my ladies in the Fresh Start program that possibly missed our session, I want to make sure that I get that up on YouTube ASAP. Okay. So I got you, Faye. I'm going <laughs> to, I'm going to put the replays up as soon as I can. Now, with that being said, what I want to do is actually zoom in so that I can talk to you. Continue. Cancel. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm distracted. I want to zoom in so I can talk to you about possible ebook projects. I'm going to give you two possible projects and then I'm going to work on one of the two. Okay. So the first of the two projects is from the easy ebook challenge. And I'm going to break that all the way down for you. Okay. So first thing to think about when it comes to the easy ebook challenge is your target. Okay. So if you want to work on an ebook, your first or a new one, who do you want to create it for? So one of the ladies, I think if not yesterday, the day before yesterday, Retha said she's in the healthcare profession. So she's going to be creating an ebook specifically for women in healthcare. Okay. So you want to think about your target group, number one, and then number two types. You're going to select one type of content that you would like to share from the following tips, tools, terms, techniques, questions, secrets, steps, mistakes. That's a lot. So let's break it on down. Okay. Maybe you want to create an ebook where you are sharing tips. Okay. Based on your target, something they're trying to accomplish, what they're interested in. Are you going to share some tips? Number one. Number two, are you going to share tools with them? Maybe there are certain terms that you're aware of in your industry and you want to create an ebook where you break down certain terms that people should know about. Maybe you want to share techniques, either techniques that you are actually doing because you created them or you've been in that industry a lot so you know industry standards techniques and best practices that's something that you can share and put out there maybe you want to create an ebook where you're answering common questions or you're sharing secrets things that people should know right that the inside higher up enchilant people know um maybe you want to talk about certain steps maybe creating a three step a five step a 10 step guide. Um, maybe you want to share some mistakes to avoid or how to mis overcome certain mistakes, right? These are just a few ebook ideas that I'm going to share with you. Okay. So, first, we're going to go through the easy ebook challenge. I'm going to break it all the way down for you. Okay. <laughs> now, if you by chance, I didn't think about doing this. But if you by chance are watching this training live or on the replays side and you go, okay, LaShonda, I would love for you, while it's still available for the next 24 hours, to put the easy ebook challenge worksheet in the Fresh Start Project page. I can do that, okay? But you have to remind me because this old lady brain ain't too good. So you got to email sense at gmail.com and say, hey, LaShonda, can you put the easy ebook challenge worksheet on the Fresh Start page, the one that I'm reading off now, and I'll do that, okay? But first of all, you got to get to the page and you have to email me. So if you want to download the ebook challenge that we're going to do today, let me know. If you want to get the template, okay, you got to make sure you go to sisessense.com forward slash FSP and click the link for the Fresh Start template, okay? 
fresh, I'm sorry, the Fresh Start Project. <laughs> okay, that's what you're going to do. Um, okay, I got stuff popping up on my screen. So we're talking about you brainstorming an ebook with me right now. Hold on. Ooh. I think my, my connection was a little bit laggy for a second. Um, if you can if you can't hear me well or if the screen is going in and out, can you let me know? Is it good? Is the audio good? Is the video good? Check in with me. Because I feel like my internet connection is lagging out here today. Um, but the first part of the easy ebook challenge is to identify your target audience, number one. Then number two, figure out what type of content you're going to create your ebook around. And I gave you a short list. So I'm gonna say the list one more time. Pick one of these and then it's good. All right, thank you. Pick one of these and then put that one in the chat so I can see. Now I, I cannot believe I forgot to say. If Even if you're watching live or on the replay side, let me know which of these ebook types is exciting for you, okay? The thing that you go, I'm gonna do that, okay? Maybe you wanna do an ebook that you're sharing tips, tools, terms, techniques, questions, secrets, steps, or mistakes, okay? You let me know. Yeah, I know, it's just, it's kind of weird. It's lagging a little bit. Hopefully it, it corrects itself. Hopefully it corrects itself. Um, let's see. I'm going to pause for a second. Are y'all good on Instagram? Can you see me? Can you hear me correctly? Is it getting better or is it still lagging? Is it choppy? I'm going to pause and let you guys check in with me. It's okay now? Okay. I'll, I'll ride with it. I'm going to ride with it. Okay. I'm going to ride with it today. So let me know, by the way, if you do want the easy ebook challenge PDF, just email me and I'll make sure to put it on the project page. This Fresh Start project page is accessible indefinitely to those of you who are in the Fresh Start program. So if you're not in the program, you want to enroll because it's 90 days and I extended enrollment for this day for those who didn't get in at sisasense.com forward slash Fresh Start. Uh, those of you who are not in Fresh Start, I will keep the Fresh Start project page open for you for the next day or two um so that you can watch the replays and grab the templates okay so now we talked about the types of ebook topics that you could consider let's talk about your task your task so your task if you choose to accept it is to select the number five seven or ten and then you're going to give your reader five seven or ten subtopics under the chosen type of content that you've decided to write. So you may say, okay, I'm going to do a seven step ebook, or I'm going to share five tools on dot, 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 or 10 techniques to dot, 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 fill in the blank. Okay. So your challenge is to either give them five, seven, or 10 subtopics, break your main topic down depending upon which of these types you have chosen, okay? Now, here is an alternative task. Instead of writing, or in addition, <laughs> instead of writing, or in addition to writing, you can record one audio or a video training that breaks down each of the chosen topics and subtopics. So that's interesting. Um, right now, as part of Fresh Start, for the next seven days, we are doing the digital products co-working sessions. What does that mean? I have seven types of digital products, and every day we're talking about a different type. 
right? Tonight, we talked about audio content and different types of audios that you can create to share and sell your information, right? So in the case of what we're doing today, you can create an ebook. Remember, yesterday we talked about audiobooks. You can create an ebook and write out the content, or that same content, you could record it in a video, like I'm doing a live stream right now, or you can record it in an audio, okay? You could do a combination of all three, baby. It's up to you, whatever you want to do, okay? So let me know, number one, whether you're alive or on the replay side of the list that I gave to you, which of these sounds like something that you go, I think I want to do an e-guide or an e-book, however you want to phrase it, with five, seven, or ten around dot, 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 right? Tips, tools, techniques, steps, mistakes, questions, you fill in the blank. And let me know, right? I'd love to see via the chat uh, which of these resonates the most with you, okay? So we talked about your target, your types, your task, your alternative task, right? Recording audio or video. Let's talk about tools. You can easily record and download audio content using one of my favorite apps, Anchor.fm. And I actually shared Anchor tonight when we were talking about audio products. Um, there are several recording tools that I love to use to re, um, record for audio content. But Anchor, which is mainly for podcasting, is one of them. Okay. Um, I also said that you can and also easily create presentation slides and record them in Canva, Zoom, or Loom. Uh, Loom, L-O-O-M, is great for being able to put yourself on the screen and also show your screen share. I love Loom. Of course, everybody knows about Zoom. And I don't know if you know this, but not only can you create designs in Canva, but you can record yourself like talking over the designs and going through your presentations in Canva, which is pretty cool. Don't sleep on Canva. There's a lot of stuff that you can do that honestly some of you are not aware of. Um, and I like to be able to teach and empower you when it comes to using these tools the right way, uh, which is why I have the Fresh Start experience so that from the prepping to the actual producing and packaging, we can go through all the techie things and all the non-techie things that you need to do when it comes to creating products and and then turning those products into revenue, right? Content to cash flow. So, as you know, right now we're talking about how you can create an ebook, create an ebook with me doing the easy ebook challenge. Um, think about the ebook you want to produce. Think about if you want to also record your content, to write, write and record, right? Um, we talked about tools. Let's talk about title. So you can brainstorm a title for your ebook based on your topic, your content, and your target. When I work with clients, a lot of times I'll tell them, once you know kind of what kind of ebook you want to put together, go to Amazon and check the book covers for inspiration, right? Now, what we did tonight, which is pretty fun, I love to use ChatGPT. Um, we talked about using AI assistance to research and or develop content. And if you're inside of the Fresh Start program, I'll definitely share a lot of my writing prompts with you. To be honest with you, we did that yesterday too, when we did the audiobook training. You can watch that, right, on Facebook and YouTube uh, before I take those down. Uh, but when we did those trainings, I... I went into chat GPT for a little bit, uh, but I can definitely share more of my writing prompts with you guys as part of the Fresh Start 90 Day Experience. Again, enrollment does close soon, but you can join us inside Fresh Start at sizzlesense.com forward slash fresh start. Okay. Just wanted to share that with you today. So brainstorm your title, a working title. It may not be what you end finalizing your book with, you know, sometimes, a lot of times, the title you come up in the beginning isn't necessarily the one you end up with in the end, but a working title to start, right? Um, and you can, of course, check out book covers for inspiration, do Google research, look at Amazon, um, or even use ChatGPT, which is something that we did inside of the Fresh Start program to think about your titles. You also want to think about the following quick tips that I'm going to share with you, okay? Um, so number one, like I mentioned before, you can search Google, YouTube, Pinterest, and Amazon for inspiration. Number two, you can brain dump your ebook content into Google Docs. I don't write anywhere else. I go to Google Docs, D-O-C-S dot Google dot com, and that's where I brainstorm my book projects, right? 
absolutely love Google Docs. I have both um, the, you know, I use it on my, my laptop, but the apps on my iPad and on my iPhone for easy access, okay? So brain dump your content and you can outline and write your content or use text to speech to transcribe your thoughts. So if you don't like to write or if you two finger type, uh, you can, there is text to speech in Google Docs so that you could just talk and it will write assist you, right? Uh, like I said, we, we did quite a bit of AI assisted content creation today as part of the Fresh Start program. Um, but you could also use something like the text to speech feature in Google Docs to help you if typing is not your thing, right? Um, so I'm on my porch and I usually spend a lot of time on the porch working. Um, and I remember a couple of weeks ago, my hubby comes out, right? And so I'm typing and then I'm looking at him and he's like, you think you're so cool because you can type without looking. I'm like, dude, I've been typing since I've been in high school, okay? <laughs> You know, I'm 43 now. I, I've been typing for a long damn time. So yeah, I can talk to you and type without looking at the screen. Um, but if you're not a typer, um, using getting help from um, the AI to write some of your content or at least outline some of it and um, the foundational pieces, right? And or getting uh, using something like text to speech to help you transcribe and say it out loud. Those are some things to assist you in the process. OK, those are some tips. So let's talk about topics. Right. Brain dump a list of other ebook topic ideas using this challenge as a guide. So outside of the, the things that I've said, oh, you could do an ebook on tools, tips, secrets, questions, mistakes. Can you think of any other types of ebook topics that would make sense to you based on your industry, based on your interest, based on your target that perhaps I didn't necessarily mention, but you can use this ebook challenge as a foundation, right? So welcome, welcome. If you're just coming on in today, I'm talking about creating an ebook with me and I'm literally going to give you a free template as well as show you how to edit the template in Canva. Right now, I want to just work you through the easy ebook challenge, right? That's what I'm doing if you're just coming on in here to give you some assistance on if you were trying to come up with an ebook idea, how could you do that using the easy ebook challenge I am sharing with you now? OK, so you're going to think about your topic, then you're going to download your template. Remember, you're going to go to sisterscents.com forward slash FSP and do that quickly, because like I said, if you're not in the Fresh Start program, the sisterscents.com forward slash FSP, the Fresh Start project that currently you get for free to create an audiobook and create an ebook watch the trainings, literally the stuff that I'm doing right now with you guys, plus download the templates. That opportunity is going to be available to you for a limited time that I'm closing those trainings and you can only access them inside of the Fresh Start program after tomorrow, okay? So make sure you enroll in Fresh Start. It is literally amazing. 90 days working with yours truly and it starts at $37, okay? So, building your ebook you want to consider that you can take that ebook and build it into a bundle right you can include audios you can include webinars you can include workbooks you can really build it out to make it more than just a pdf right so build it out add some additional things to it those are some things that you can do of course what we're going to do is go into the easy ebook template but before we get there if you haven't already done so based on what i shared with you so far let me know what kind of ebook topic or even give me a title that comes up for you whether you're catching me live or on the replay side i love to see my replay rockers check in and go, oh yeah, I'm thinking of this, I'm thinking of that. Um, and I also mentioned to you a few minutes ago that there are two ways to do this, okay? So number one is the easy ebook challenge, right? And that's what we just talked about. Number two, the one that I'm actually gonna do, it, I call it blog to book. So I have a blog on Sissa Sense that I 
use to share my recommendations on monetization, content creation, marketing, and sales, right? Blogging is a great way to share your expertise, to create content, and to drive traffic to your website. I've been blogging for many, many years, and my blog has been my best PR assistant to help me get exposure, to build brand credibility, and attract the right customers, and even publicity to me. OK, um, and so as opposed to doing the easy ebook challenge where you're coming up with something new for this particular ebook activity, you can repurpose something that you've already put your heart and soul into. Right. So you can take something that perhaps you've written on your blog, your main blog or your micro blog. You go, oh, girl, micro blog. What's that? What's that? A lot of people don't have a traditional blog on something like WordPress, but a lot of people do micro blog in the sense that they post uh, regularly on Instagram or on Facebook and they, or even on Twitter, and they're sharing these little tidbits of information, tips and recommendations quite a bit. That's micro blogging, okay? That's you writing short form content in addition to possibly sharing short form videos or even graphics and doing that on a consistent basis. So you could potentially either take a post or several posts from your blog and turn that into an ebook, or you could do the same thing with content you've been putting onto your Instagram or Facebook or perhaps another social media platform. LinkedIn, for example, there are a lot of people who upload articles to the LinkedIn platform. Or perhaps you write on something like medium.com and you've been doing it for several weeks, months, or even years, right? You can turn that blog content into a book or do the easy ebook challenge that I just shared with you. Either way, you've got a foundation to create something new for your audience, whether you choose to create an ebook as a freebie lead magnet or something that you sell as a low price point digital offer. Okay, those are some options for you today. So let me show you. I'm going to go over to my blog real quick and show you two articles that I previously wrote. And I could do either of these, right? Um, one of them looking for my mouse real quick how to create irresistible offers right so i have this article as it's this i also have a podcast so when you look at this particular blog number one you could listen to the audio on how to create irresistible offers but then you'll see turn your skills into an offer turn your training into an offer there are a few recommendations that are written text in addition to listening to audio, right? So I could grab this text and make an ebook, okay? Um, the other one, here's another blog post. Pop that on the screen, like so, like that. Oh, I just realized y'all can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> Of course, you can't see what I'm doing on Instagram. You would have to come over to Facebook and YouTube and find me on Facebook and YouTube at Sister Sense to see my screen. Um, those of you on Facebook and YouTube, apologies. I'll go back to that screen in a second. Uh, but this is an article I wrote, Eight Ways to Make Money Online with ConvertKit, right? So I can turn this, ConvertKit is one of my favorite platforms for list building and also for teaching people how to sell their digital products online. They have something called ConvertKit Commerce, which is pretty awesome. Not only do I use ConvertKit, but I'm an affiliate. So I can create an ebook that explains how valuable ConvertKit is, include my links to ConvertKit. And even if I don't sell the ebook itself, if people click on it and sign up to ConvertKit through me, I would generate revenue, right? So that's one of my how to get paid with free strategies. Use useful ebooks that you've put together, especially if you review products you're connected to as an affiliate, right? Um, this is a solid way to create a free ebook, add value, even use it as a lead magnet too, right? Um, so this is one possible blog article that I can turn into a mini ebook of sorts. The one that I mentioned to you before, I thought it was on the screen, but totally didn't realize it wasn't how to create irresistible offers for your audience. And this, as I mentioned before, has um, one of my podcast episodes embedded into it so people can listen to that or they can read through some of the re recommendations that I share here, okay? Um, 
the reason why I decided to do this one is because we're not going to be on here all night. And as opposed to me writing from scratch or going into chat GPT to show you how to customize the ebook template, it's actually easier just to kind of copy and paste te text, plug and publish, as I like to say. Okay. So friendly reminder, if you cannot see my screen, you're going to go over to Sysasense on YouTube or Facebook so you can see that presentation. Um, or if you're watching on the replays side, you can join me at sysense.com forward slash FSP, okay? If you cannot see the screen. So I'm assuming that you did the thing and let me know if you got your template, okay? If you are watching on the replays, no different, right? Live or replays, if you got your template, you're gonna say, got it right? So remember, you're going to go to scissorsense.com forward slash FSP for fresh start projects. And while it's available for the next day or two, you can come here and click the opportunity to start the fresh start project. And when you get to the fresh start project page, you're going to click the ebook project template which is in Canva. I've designed this lovely template for you. All you gotta do is click use template to open it and create your amazing. So I'm gonna do the fun part now, which is to come in here, put my title in here. Ooh. I'm gonna put my title in here, copy some of my text in here. Excuse me. I know it sounds like a little mini horn. <laughs> you know what it is? I'm constantly congested and I don't think I took my Zyrtex this morning. So me and my allergies <laughs> are forever at war with one another. The battle continues. But um, now I'm going to customize this particular template. Now, this is the tiny edition, okay? This is five pages of one of my ebook templates, which happens to be 110 pages. It's pretty big. Um, but when you join the Fresh Start program, if you're enrolled, you're going to get the opportunity to get several templates from me. Three of them are ebook templates, three ebook templates. One is square, uh, one is uh, eight and a half by 11. So you're going to get different size ebook templates. You'll get templates to create audiobooks, challenges, bundles, toolkits. There's lots of templates waiting for you inside the easy ebook. Um, I'm sorry, inside the Fresh Start program, the 90 day experience. Okay. But today, so long as you get to here before it, I close this page, you could grab the ebook template that gives you five of the 100, and, excuse me, 10 page ebook template. Okay. So you get a taste of the good, good. Um, but trust me, you can do a lot with these 10 pages. I'm sorry, these five pages right here for real. So number one, you get your cover page so you can customize that. Number one, number two, you get your main header content. So you can put in a header title, a subtitle and start to write. And then you have a follow-up page where there's no title. So if you're writing something and it's more, it continues, you can add that continued text onto another page. And of course you can duplicate these, create sections, as many sections as you need. You also have a page where you can give them a list of five things, but it doesn't have to be just those five. So let's say you have seven or you have 10, you can edit this little set of numbers and really make this list your own. So you can share five steps, five tasks, five tools, five activities. You can really, five resources, this is a really great list that you can use. I love this particular page. I use it all the time. You can customize your footer. You can change the colors. You have your back cover. You can put your website link. This is just a little bit of information about the fact that this is a mini version of a bigger ebook that I have as part of my template collection. I am a web and graphics designer. So to de designing templates is what I do. Okay. <laughs> One of the many things that I do anyway. Okay. Um, so this is just to give you an opportunity to see what your template looks like if you decide to use it. Bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so let's do the fun stuff. Okay. Um, I'm going to come in here, start to do a little bit of editing. And I think I'm going to do this one on how to create irresistible offers for your audience. Okay. Um, and see where that takes me. 
I need some like mood music. When I work, I have my, you know, my, um, what do you use? Like, do you use Pandora to listen to music while you work? Um, do you use Spotify? I use Apple Music. That's kind of my thing. So you let me know what you listen to. Um, first, I'm going to do the thing that I always say to do, which is to rename. Rename it. So I'm going to grab the name of my ebook and copy it into my template. Number one. And then number two, I'm going to work on this title page right here. So I'm going to call this Money Makers because I have a series called Money Makers. And I'm going to put in here how to create irresistible offers. So hmm, I might put the how to at top. Or, because this doesn't quite fit the way I want to. Oh, I know what I'll do. Keep it simple. I'm just going to change the size. <laughs> so it's currently at 50 font. Let's see. 32. Perfect. So at 32 font, I can put this in here and be good to go. <laughs> Apologies for the trumpet. I can't do nothing about it. <laughs> you just gonna have to hear it because sneeze has to sneeze. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Um, oh, wait, hold on. I did something and I lost something and I'm trying to figure out where it went. Oh, I have a subtitle. Okay, so let's ungroup because I have somebody outside, Brad. Where are you barking at? So I have the main title, but I have a subtitle. I'm not going to use it because I don't have space for it. Um, what I have is sufficient. So I'm going to just delete the subtitle section and then move this title a little bit lower down. And then change the URL at the bottom, www.assistasense.com. Okay. Now here's the thing. This is my template. So it's purple. It's already got my brand color in there, okay? Um, you could change the colors to whatever you want. Now, if I get a particular stock photo, I may want to change the color to match that stock photo, but I may just leave it the way it is, right? Um, so I'm going to go over to Photos, and I'm going to look for African Woman Business. Now, I realize I have caps on. It is what it is. <laughs> Let me see if I can find a stock photo that I actually like for this project. Now, because I'm talking about creating irresistible offers, and I'm specifically talking about digital content, I may want to find a picture of someone with a laptop. So instead, I might say... African woman laptop. Let's see what it gives me. Now, I use this particular young lady a lot. Um, but you know what? Number one, I just like the images of her. Um, but number two, more than that, when you use like a certain model in several of your ebooks it, it gives it kind of like consistency right um and i'm also like the text at the bottom i'm gonna go to spacing and just kind of space it out a little bit more i like to kind of stretch the subtext at the bottom a little bit so yeah how to create irresistible offers for your audience so i'm going to just jump right in um I can, you could put welcome, introduction, start here. I tend to like to put start here. And I'm going to put creating irresistible offers. Now, I can never spell irresistible, so thank God for spell check.
and then I'm gonna start to write. I will do this though. It says insert header footer here. I'm gonna copy that text real quick. Then I'm gonna go to file and I'm gonna go to find and replace text. I'm gonna copy that text in here, find where it says insert header footer and then replace it with w www.sista. You guys use that feature, find and replace. It is a game changer. So basically for all the pages that have that um, unbranded footer, I'm just going to customize it to what I want it to be, okay? Um, bam, bam, boom, my footer is what I want it to be. Now, normally I would probably add a little bit more to the footer. So I think I may want to, instead of having it centered, have it left or right justified. Yeah, I think I, I like the idea of doing a right justified footer for this particular project. Now, keep in mind that as a template, it's giving you structure but you don't have to just leave things as they are. If you wanna move it left or right, maybe do it. Or if you want to make any other adjustments to it, you know, do what, do what serves you. So I actually decided that instead of doing a template where it's centered, I'm gonna just delete these and paste in ones that are to the right. But changing the colors, adding your stock photos, editing the footer, these are some things that you want to start off with before you start adding text, because once you start to duplicate pages, imagine having like 20, 30, 40 pages and then going, oh, let me fix the footer now versus fixing it in the beginning when you only have a few pages to edit. Right. Just kind of keep that in mind. So. Yes, YouTube, right? Some YouTube lofi music. That would be lofi lofi. <laughs> That would be great. Um, so the next thing that I'm going to do, 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 is let me just grid mode real quick. So you can see grid mode, just kind of an overview of the pages that I'm currently editing. Um, and then I'll go back into regular view. Okay. So... I'm gonna go back to my blog post. And here's the introduction. Now, I'm not gonna read this now, okay? Um, because for the interest of time, I'm literally just gonna copy and paste sections over. But obviously I would come in here and read too, because sometimes when you're on, you write for a blog, you might say, you know, on today's blog post or dot, dot, dot. And obviously it's not a blog post I'm doing, I'm doing an ebook. So some things may need to be adjusted, or you might say, click here or whatever, right? And, and in those cases, either you want to add a link to your ebook or you don't want to put those words in. So, but I'm not going to, in the interest of time, read anything in this right now. I'm just going to copy and paste over. Um, so I can just kind of put, and I'm not putting everything in here either. Uh, I'm just going to do a couple of sections. So if you're just calling it, I'm calling in. If you're just seeing me on Instagram right now, we're doing a create an ebook with me session. And you can actually see me customize the ebook if you are following me on Instagram or Facebook at YouTube. I'm sorry, YouTube and Facebook at it's Sister Sense, LaShonda Henry. Um, but if you're watching me or listening to me on Instagram, you can't see my screen. Uh, but hey, you can hang out with me if you want. <laughs> so right now, this is... I think that was my kid. Yep. You okay? Not the garbage? Okay. It's my kid. He's like, what is she doing out here? It's so late. Why are you doing a live stream? So this is the first part right here. Let me actually zoom 
out a little bit so you could see more of the page. Um, and then I'm just going to copy and paste. So like I said, there are lots of different ways that you can write an ebook. You can sit and write original content. You can use the easy ebook challenge that I shared with you guys a few minutes ago um, and kind of follow that as your guide. Um, you can use the AI to assist you. There are literally a lot of things that you can do, right? Um, but this is just me copy and pasting over my blog content as opposed to writing it from scratch. Now, here's the deal. I can do different things here. I can just keep copying and pasting, but I think at this point, it's going to start doing the separate topics. What do I mean by that? So I'm like, here are different ways to create irresistible offers. So I'd like each of these to be their own section with a header, right? But if you look on the page, you'll notice that my second page, um, it doesn't completely fill the page. I could leave it blank, but I don't have to. Um, what I'm gonna do is actually go over to, that's my son taking out the garbage. <laughs> What I'm going to do is come over here and I'm going to find a nice stock photo and just fill that spot. So you got to get creative, right? Again, I could either keep writing content, edit and add more content um, or fill it with something. Um, I could even fill it with um, lines or a blank box if I decided to turn the ebook into a print book and then give them space to write. Like there's a lot of things that you could possibly do, right? While I like that photo, I don't feel like enough of her is in that space. Um, so I might just look for something else. Okay, so here is that particular model. So I think I'm just going to use her again, right? And there you go. So far, I've written or <laughs> written, copy and pasted the first, um, the introduction part. So then I'm going to, I'm going to go in grid mode real quick, right? And I'm going to copy this page and I'm going to copy this page and do this so that now I can write the next section. So let's say I give them five irresistible offer types. Then at the end, I can use this list page as like, okay, now we recap. Here are your five irresistible offers, right? So I'm not going to use this particular page, so I'll delete it. But already you can see that it's shaping up to a thing, right? It's becoming a thing. So let's do the next section. Print, barking. You sure you don't want me to do your hair? Yeah. But you got picked school pictures tomorrow. Yeah, so I'd rather not have my. I'm just gonna. Looking. I'm just gonna twist the front. I'd rather not have my forehead looking in such ways. But clean. I'm just gonna twist up the front. I'm, I'm going to be done here in like 15 minutes. 50 different things I'm going to do tonight. No, you and don't, because I, I, I heard you. I heard you. I heard you. I heard you on the phone playing games with your friends. What else, cousin? Yeah, you have things to do when I tell you let's braid your hair, twist your hair, but you're on the phone playing games with your friends. Well, I finished my work. I'm going to finish. No, I don't want that. And it's 10:22. I have, I have to go to bed early. I'm testing tomorrow. I'm going to twist your hair when I'm finished. You cannot take school pictures with your head looking like that. I don't want to do it. Mm -hmm. It's going to look bad. You're just... locking myself in my room. Okay. I know how to unlock the door. No. I, I really have all the... <sighs> my child is my child. Okay. I lost my train of thought. It's coming back, though. Okay. So the first one is turn your skills into irresistible offers. So I'm going to copy that real quick, like so, like that. 
and then I'm going to take it back over to my document, okay? So let me know, number one, if this is helpful to you, if you plan on using this template. Like I said, oh, whoop, I didn't want to put all of that in there. Where did that come from? Let me make sure I copied that correctly. Um, and like I said, this is just an example of something that I'm doing. Um, I don't want all of that. I want it to be able to fit. Turn your skills into irresistible offers. That works. Um, we are creating digital products. We're working on sales pages, products, promotion, profit as part of the Fresh Start program. So if you're not in Fresh Start, enrollment does close because I extended it because I saw, I woke up this morning, I was like, wow, so many people were like, I need to be in this program. So I said, let me extend it a little bit longer. Uh, if you do want to join us in Fresh Start, it's 90 days. We're working on your digital products, your consistency, working on your revenue goals, all the things over the course of that 90 day period. And enrollment is all the details you need are at citizensense.com forward slash fresh start. Okay. So I'm just going to do this one section because I'm going to go and see if I can make some sense of my child's head because that's what mothers do. Um, and just like I did before, okay, I totally jacked this up. What, what did you do, LaShonda? Oh, let's go to grid mode. Okay, I, I put it in the wrong section, but that's fine. I'm just going to move things around. Okay, so for this one. It doesn't all fit on this page, but there are things that I can do. In the interest of time, what I'm going to do is just simply reduce the front to 16. I would normally, now because I reduced the front here, to, I'm going to do 15.5. Um, I would go back and then make sure that all the other pages are the same size font. So there's consistency. I don't like having some sections where the font is smaller than other sections. It just, you know, you want to keep things consistent. Or I would edit the text to make sure it fit. I would do something. But in the interest of time, because I'm going to uh, convince that child <laughs> that I should twist this here for picture day, uh, I'm going to just do this section right here, number one. Um, and then... Let me do another one of these for you, number two. So I think the second one, that one is turn your skills into irresistible offers. This one is turn your trainings. Into irresistible offers. I have a couple of them, right? So if you already have content that you can repurpose that you've written on your blog, or like I said, that you've written on social media, um, this is a pretty cool project um, that you can do, right? Um, and I just realized that you can't see me back here. So what I did was I decreased the font just a little bit to get it to fit. Apologies. I can't really see every time I switch from one tab to another. Um, but one way to create an irresistible offer is to turn your skills into an irresistible offer or turn your trainings. I've got several of these right in my blog. And then this back page, I can say, Sister Sense. Um, now, so far, it's six pages, okay? Um, and I can keep going, keep adding the rest of the blog, and then save it as a PDF. And like I said, this is something that I can either give away as a lead magnet. Um, obviously, a, I'm not going to sell a six-page ebook to anybody. 
<laughs> so I would obviously beef it up and then maybe take what I wrote in that blog and expand it to make it even more. Um, I do have an audio, so maybe I might put a link and say, you know, read the ebook, but click here to listen to the audio, uh, which would take them to the podcast so that that would drive traffic to my podcast. There's a lot that I could do with this particular audio to build, I'm sorry, this particular ebook to either use it as a lead magnet or turn it into its own full blown offer, right? Um, I could even for every section, and this is something that I like to do as well, um, for every section, I could even include really nice, vibrant pages with stock photos in between them, right? Um, so let's look at this because there are several pictures with this model. And I love this one because she's looking at a webcam waving and I just have a section on how to turn your training into an irresistible offer, right? So in that case, if you know, you're training somebody via Zoom or something, the stock photo is totally in alignment with that. And all of a sudden, just adding two pages with really nice stock photos, I was able to turn six pages into eight pages, right? So these are just really little tricks but they are so intentional whether you need to you know um whether you need to fill empty space or you need to extend the ebook a little bit more um and and it's th this is a particular size eight and a half by eight and a half that i love because number one i can even use this ebook to create square posts for social media so I can repurpose the content that way, um, or I can print the book. And a lot of books that I print and self-publish um, are in this square format. So there's a lot that I can do, right? And I mentioned to you, like say, for example, if I was to print this ebook, as opposed to having this stock photo here, I might go to elements and go to squares, and then just make a block section where I like to put either lined sections or block sections, where as people are reading, if they go, oh, I think I wanna um, write something down in this little mini guide, they have sections to do that. So my full template, by the way, has all of these pages. Like there, there are tons of pages where you have lined sections or quote pages or photo pages. You're getting uh, a nice free uh, starter set, but you can access different style templates and different size templates inside of Fresh Start uh, because working on these different types of vision, uh, digital products is something that we're doing as part of the program. Uh, but of course, let me know if you have any questions about what you've seen so far. Um, I think I like that square spot there. Um, versus the stock photo. And then I would leave these separate individual pages that kind of break the text up for those stock photo images. Um, and then I could duplicate this and then put another one here, like so like that. And then go to this one. You have to drag, drop, and hold. Ooh. I'm trying to figure out which one I didn't do. Oh, I see it, this one. So one of the things I love about this particular model is that the photographer has tons of photos with her. So it's so easy to, now you'll, in, in, because I do this for a living, you start to have an eye for it. But one of the things that helps when it comes to creating not only a digital book, but one that actually looks professional and looks clean and look polished is consistency. And sometimes you'll get a template. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm fine. I'm just congested. So <coughs> Prince, you're sitting on my tissues. One of the, t um, sometimes, um, I'll see clients use the templates and 
they'll go, but they don't look like yours, LaShonda. It doesn't look the way I want it to. And sometimes one of the reasons why is because they'll kind of just grab different random photos and they look, you can tell they're not the same. So it doesn't create a fluidity in the document, right? Maybe some of the pictures are really bright. Some of the pictures are really dull. Some of the pictures are like, you know, muted colors, some like, you know, tan or white. And, and it just, because it's a mixture of different stock photos, you can use different stock photos from different photographers, but you want to be mindful of whether or not when they are together, they flow well or if it kind of just makes the document feel off, right? Um, but little things like that are things that we can do together. Obviously, you can see me taking a blog post, um, number one, and me just kind of filling it out and using clean stock photos. Um, it's coming together pretty nicely, um, and I, I haven't really done much, um, and I'm at that eight-page mark, right? I like to make sure that my ebooks are in, in increments of four. So if I do want to print them, they have to be in increments of four. So at the very least, this would be, I would say I would probably turn it, well, I haven't finished because I didn't copy over the whole article from my blog, but at the very least, this would be either 12, 16, or 20 pages on the small side. Um, and then of course, I can decide to add more to build it out, um, whether it be add more text content or add more features uh, to really make it pop. pop. So uh, that is really the heart of what I wanted to share with you. Hey, Adonia, you are still being fabulous as always. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I want you to be able to grab this free template from me. So as a friendly reminder, you want to make sure that you go over to scissorsense.com forward slash FSP, which stands for Fresh Start Project. Okay. But you got to get there in a couple of days because this is going to close and the Fresh Start Project templates are only going to be accessible to people in the Fresh Start 90 day program. OK, so if you're able to if you're watching the replay or watching me live and you're able to get to citizens.com forward slash FSP and you see the link to start your Fresh Start Project. OK, you want to click that link while you still have the opportunity to when you click that link, you want to download the audiobook template and watch the training for the audiobook template that we did yesterday, and or download and watch the training for the ebook project that we're doing today. Okay, so those two projects are available. Um, I don't normally do lives, but I always love to give you guys a taste of what we're doing in the community. Uh, and today is officially the beginning of the Fresh Start 90 Day Experience. And if you haven't enrolled, I wanted to give you an opportunity to do that before the doors close. Okay, um, let me, by the way, last but not least, tell you a little bit about the Fresh Start program. So number one, I'd love to know if you have any ebook ideas or if you are you just kind of brainstorming based on what I talked about today, what you've come up with. Uh, if you have any ideas, drop those into the chat, whether you're watching live or via the replays, number one. Uh, if you have any questions, now's the time to ask, number two. And number three, most importantly, I'd love to work with and support you as part of the Fresh Start experience. You can join the Fresh Start program. Um, the doors had closed, <laughs> but I extended it just for a few more hours. Enrollment is $37 for the 90-day experience, okay? Because I don't want there to be an, any excuse or barriers or budget concerns. I want to be able to support you and really pour into you when it comes to helping you learn how to create either your first or better digital products. To be honest with you, a lot of entrepreneurs either struggle with starting or finishing products, uh, struggle with promoting products, struggle with making the actual sales pages, struggle with landing pages and freebies, struggle with making actual money. So fundamentally, these are the things that we're gonna work on for the next 90 days, because I want you to fresh start right? Uh, I say as part of this experience that your fresh start starts now, right? Um, so if you're looking to intentionally work on these things, 
um, you know, you can definitely just take advantage of the resources that I'm sharing with you here. Uh, but number two, I can support you and you can hang out with me and the community as part of Fresh Start. So as I mentioned before, the base level is Fresh Start 37, which gives you 90 day access, number one. Um, or number two, Fresh Start 97, you also get the opportunity to work with me directly. So with the Fresh Start 97 plan, not only do you get access to the 90 day program, but you get three clarity calls plus three ebooks, how to stay paid, stay productive and stay encouraged plus the mastermind trainings on demand that I've done for this calendar year, which is pretty awesome. If you need additional support, because as I mentioned before, I am a content coach, but I'm also a web and graphics designer. Fresh Start 297 gives you the opportunity to get three 60-minute calls with me, one 90-minute strategy session, as well as I'm going to build a landing page for you inside ConvertKit. And you get your ebooks and your mastermind on demand too. And at 297, baby, <laughs> that's a lot. A good good. Um, I'm doing something that I honestly have not done, which is to take one of my best web packages, my five-page website package. You can get a custom five-page WordPress website, clarity calls with me, plus a uh plus the ebook bundle for 497. Or for $9.97, you have the opportunity to get 10 clarity calls, four strategy sessions, a custom landing page, a five-page WordPress, five WordPress website, and a ticket to my next event here in North Carolina. I have three-day weekend workshops where we work on your content creation, monetization, and sales. Um, and we create at least one digital product or print-on-demand project over the course of that weekend. The next North Carolina event is coming up in October. The next one after that is coming up in January, uh, but you have 12 months to redeem a ticket to one of my in-person events. If you cannot make, um, make any of those in-person events, you can actually take that time and reserve time to just still fly out to North Carolina and work with me privately. So you have that opportunity as well. So there are a range of levels of Fresh Start, but the base is 37. So at the very least, no excuses. You're going to get a ton of support from me. We literally started today. Um, so if you want to jump into the program that you have the opportunity to do so before the doors close. Um, but otherwise, you can take advantage of the ebooks and trainings that I've put together um, so that you can um, utilize those, number one, um, or number two, add yourself onto the wait list when the Fresh Start opens once again. But it hasn't closed quite yet, so you still have a little bit of time left, right? Um, but hopefully today's session has been helpful to you. And of course, I will see you guys right back here. I don't know when. So make sure you turn on alerts and notifications so you can see when I'm live, so you can jump on here live with me. All right. So that's it for now. Take care, y'all. Till next time. Bye.